Hi everyone, welcome back. Before we begin, the purpose of this lesson in lab is to determine the shape of an electric field with an electrode configuration by finding equipotential lines. Our lesson begins with electric field lines. A great way to test if you have the right direction of the lines is to test a positive charge. Now think, what would happen if we put a positive charge there? If the test charge will attract, the electric field lines point toward the charge. If the test charge repels, the lines will point away from the charge. That is why negative charges have field lines pointed inwards and positive charges have field lines pointed outwards. Now let's talk about electric potential energy. What is it? Electric potential energy is the amount of energy necessary to move a charge from an infinite distance away to a certain distance away from the center of the charge. Electric potential energy is defined as Q times V where Q is the magnitude of charge of the particle moved from an infinite distance away, and V is the potential difference between the center charge and the charge pulled from an infinite distance away. I mentioned the word potential difference. What is it? Potential difference is the amount of electric potential energy per charge. The equation is Coulomb's constant times the magnitude of the center charge divided by the distance between the two charges. Therefore, if we substitute this equation in, the electric potential energy equation is Coulomb's constant times the charge of the center times the charge of the particle divided by the distance between the two particles. Now, what are equipotential lines? Equipotential lines are exactly what the word means. They are lines in which the magnitude of the electric potential is equal. Remember, equipotential lines are always perpendicular to electric field lines. But what can we say about the magnitude of the equipotential lines? Physicists have found that the magnitude of the electric potential increases from the negative terminal of the charge outwards. Therefore, the green line has a lower potential than the yellow line, and the yellow line has a lower potential than the blue line. Physicists have also found the opposite appears for positive charges. Therefore, the green line has a greater potential than the yellow line, and the yellow line has a greater potential than the blue line. Now it's time to practice. Pause the video and answer these questions. Let's go over some terminology necessary for this chapter. A potentiometer is an instrument used to measure an electromotive force, electric potential, between two non-terminal points. A conductor is a material in which charge can easily pass through, and an insulator is a material in which charge cannot easily pass through. Now it's time to return to the lab. The objective was to determine the shape of an electric field with an electrode configuration by finding the equipotential lines. Alright, so let's go over what we need for this lab. We need the electric potential diagram found on page 4 and a piece of cardboard. We need conducting pushpins, a 6 volt battery, a potentiometer, and alligator clips. At this moment, set up the circuit as shown in the diagram. For more on circuits, reference the video on series and parallel circuits. When setting up the board, two metal thumbtacks should be placed on the diagram as shown. Alligator clips should then be connected to both ends, therefore causing a positive and negative terminal. Let's see this lab in action. Keep an eye on the potentiometer. Well, what did we see? At equal distances away from the thumbtack, the potential difference remained the same, therefore forming circles for each equipotential line. This relates back to equipotential lines around a single point. As the radius increased, the potential difference increased from the negative terminal, and as the radius increased, the potential difference decreased from the positive terminal. All right, so let's answer the purpose of this lab. The positive terminal decreases in electric potential as the radius increases, as depicted with the left diagram. The right diagram depicts a negative terminal where electric potential increases as the radius increases. Now let's draw the electric field lines. Remember, electric field lines are always perpendicular to equipotential lines. In addition, positive electric fields extend outwards and negative electric fields point inwards. 
For more questions regarding this lab, visit www.njctl.org. Thank you for your participation in this online lab. I'll see you next time.